In this video, we're going to derive the equations of constant acceleration. So the six of them, we're going to use this velocity time graph to do so. So the first equation, we're going to derive V equals U plus AT. So for the purposes of the exam, you don't actually need to remember the equations we're going to derive, but you do need to know how to derive them. It's, it's feasible that you could be asked to derive them in an exam. So let's have a look at V equals U plus AT. Well, first of all, we know the gradient of the line segment, this line segment here, is the y difference over the x difference. So the gradient on a VT graph, you should already know, is acceleration. So the gradient, acceleration, equals the y difference, so the difference there, so V minus U, over the x difference, which is T minus 0, which is T. So now multiplying both sides by t, we get at equals v minus u, which if we do a bit more rearranging, take the u at the other side, we get v equals u plus at, which is what we wanted. So that's the first one derived, let's put a box around it. So now the one we're going to have a look at is s equals ut, ut plus a half at squared. So with this one, we're going to need to consider the area under the graph because on a VT graph, it's the area between the graph and the x-axis that gives displacement. So we need to somehow calculate this area that I've just shaded yellow. So if we split this up into two separate shapes with a rectangle at the bottom and a triangle at the top, split it up using that dotted line there. We've got the area of the rectangle at the bottom is u times t. So now looking at the triangle, we've got the height of the triangle is v take u, and we've got the base of the triangle has length t. So a half base times height gives the area of the triangle and the displacement. So we've got that s equals ut plus a half t times v minus u. So we'll have a look back up at this equation here. If we rearrange this equation here, we've got v equals u plus at. Well, actually, if we rearrange that to say v minus u, so from this equation at the top here, we've got v equals u plus at. Rearrange it to say v minus u. v minus u equals at. So v minus u equals at, we can replace this v minus u here with at to get s equals ut plus a half t times at, which means that s equals ut plus a half at squared as required. So let's put a box around that, that's that one finished. So sticking with this idea of displacement, let's now try and derive s equals vt minus a half at squared. So this time we're going to consider the entire area of this dotted rectangle here. So this area here, this entire rectangle. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take out this white triangle here to leave the area that's shaded yellow. So the entire rectangle has height v and base t. So s equals vt. Then if we take out this white triangle here, so this side of the triangle is v minus u, and this side of the triangle is t. So a half base times height. And for similar reasons to before, we know that v minus u is a t. So that means that s equals v t minus a half a t times t. 
or s equals vt minus a half kt squared. And that's that one derived. So doing another, sticking again with displacement. Now let's consider this shaded region to be a trapezium on its own. So what we're going to do, represent this area as a trapezium, is derive s equals u plus v over 2 times t. So we've got a trapezium here. And this side has height u. This side has height v. And the perpendicular side has height t. So, trapezium area is a half times the sum of the parallel sides, u plus v, times t. And we're done. Nice and easy, that one. So let's put a box around it. And finally, and this one's a little bit more in depth, we're going to derive v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And we're not going to need a picture of the graph for this one. Well, we know that v equals u plus at. So if we square both sides, we get v squared equals u plus at squared equals, and if we multiply out those brackets, we get u squared plus 2uat plus a squared t squared equals u squared. And I'm going to take a factor of 2a out. So taking out 2a, I get ut plus a half a t squared. And hopefully you recognise this part of the equation here. That's S from a previous equation. So looking directly above. We'll scroll down a little bit. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Well, we've got that now. Equals U squared plus 2AS. Which means that V squared equals U squared plus 2AS as required. And there's the derivation of the final one. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up at the bottom.